Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Not from Bam Bam Beach, from Thailand and my new house uh, for the couple of next couple of months. Uh, short video, because I don't know how long it will take to upload my videos here with the internet, is not like really, really, really fast. Um, so let's see, I will try to keep it uh, below seven minutes um, to make the uploading a bit more easy. Let's quickly jump into some charts and some cool news um, to see what is happening, guys, to um, everything on this beautiful Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Thursday. Now, bam. Now, um, on the four hour chart, we can see a lot of indicators. This is the Bam Bam indicator. You'll find them on the BitcoinFamily.com. Um, the short flag and the long flags, we need confirmations. At the moment, there is a lot of bullishness here in, in, in the four hour um, time frame. So, uh, this short was a short, but there was no closing down below the yellow stepping line. And we can see that the Bollinger Band is not that wide. And if it's not that wide, then don't go into these trades. Wait for the market and to recover um, and for that uh, market show you a direction and direction should we be really bullish, not a flat white line, not this flat area of greenish with a little bluish on the bottom. It should be more clear to take a four hour trade, guys. If we zoom out to the weekly chart, there is some more um, information. In the weekly, we can see that something happened that never happened before. We are closing far be uh, below the 300 weekly moving average. Yes, we opened there and we need to close that one above, but we never closed below the 300 weekly moving average on a, a weekly time frame, guys. And um, we wouldn't have expected that uh, we would have expected that support to hold over there, but it didn't. Which means that the FTX blow up um, is is making a lot of stress in the market, and that's why people are selling um, their bitcoins. A lot of liquidity disappearing from the market, and that's make the price dropping. <sighs> you know, I've been seeing these things many times from Mount Gox all the way uh, to all the other stuff that happened during all the bear markets. It's every time the same. But I will come back to that later. And the thing that we can see now is over here, for example, the COVID um, drop. That was the same kind of situation. This was um, a candle far below the 200 weekly moving average, almost touching the 300. The next candle opened down below it as well, and then they pushed it above it again. And from there, we took it again to newer, um, uh, higher levels. So that is always what happens uh, during these crashes. The bear market here of 2018, we can see the same. Um, we broke the 200 weekly moving average with a wick. We held support, and the next candle went up again. So. We have seen these patterns before. The question now is, is this again that same pattern? Are we seeing one huge red candle followed up by a huge green candle? This candle is going to close in three days on the weekly. So we only have three days left um, to bring it above the 18,000 US dollar, which is a 300 weekly moving average to 200 is at 24 at the moment. So exciting times, uh, things um, look different than normally, but I will come back to that to show you. It's not completely different, guys. Now, um, if we zoom out on the monthly, we see, of course, the same. The MACD was turning around, was becoming a little bit more positive again on the bottom here on the screen. Um, let's see what it does. Let's see if in the monthly, this scan is going to close in 13 days. We close above that uh, purple line. If we close above that purple line, that is very positive. That means on the monthly, we held support on a 300 weekly moving average. And if we close above that purple line, that also means that there is a large wick to the bottom. And a large wick to the bottom and a small body means that we are going to be in a reversal of the market or at least sideways to a reversal. Next stop. I don't made a video already about that one. If you uh, want to see that video again, watch a video of two, three days ago. Uh, days ago, um, that yeah, man, I'm, th I'm in Thailand. <laughs> um, uh, that could be um, somewhere in the area of August 2025, guys. Uh, August 2025, September 2025. That is when the next stop would be in. If we are looking to all um, the distance between the halving and the next stop, etc., etc. Watch that video. Now, let's quickly jump into some other stuff over here. Uh, one more thing, um, if you want to sign up to Bybit at the moment, they have a 30,000 US dollar bonus. Scan the QR code or go down below, click the link and uh, claim up to 30,000 US dollar. Of course, you need to deposit a shitload of Bitcoins to get 30,000 US dollar bonus. But if you want to deposit a shitload of Bitcoins, then do it on Bybit because you can claim 30K for free over there. Of course, also uh, no discounts on spot trading at the moment and access to the Bybit launch. Um, uh, bit launchpad guys which is um, launching of course 
very cool new projects over there. Now, um, let's quickly jump into some more beautiful charts over, let's see. This is the first chart, guys. This first chart was created by the Rational Root. Really interesting chart. So this, this chart is very interesting because it shows you the Bitcoin realized price drawdowns, the Z-score. Now, if you look to 2011 in the bear market, you can see this pinkish area uh, all the way coming down over here, like this bam, all to the yellow line. Then we see the 2015 drawdown, you see, again, to that yellow line. Then we see the 2019, again, to the yellow line. The yellow line is increasing bit by bit, so um, that was going up a little bit. Now in 2022, again, we see this pinkish area, a drawdown all the way down to that uh, yellowish line. And that, that yellowish line now is around 15,600. So if we look to the past, we are just um, doing exactly the same that we have always been doing but we are going up slowly by uh, bit by bit, guys. So, um, am I freaking out? No, I am buying the shit out of these dips. Yes, it can be FTX. Yes, it can be Ron Gox. Yes, it can be the SEC. Yes, it can be all that noise that you hear all day around. But for me, it's just noise. I am buying this dip. dip. Bitcoin is not going anywhere. It's not going to zero. It's not going to stop. It's still has the same fundamentals. That's why I'm buying. And it's also what you see here, guys. You can see that more people are buying. These are the Bitcoin uh, supply distribution. This means all the supply that has less than 10 Bitcoins, 1 to 10 Bitcoins. We can see that that is all going up. At the moment, 1 to 10 Bitcoins represents 15 to 16% of the market. So 15 to 60% of the market uh, holds 1 to 10 Bitcoins. The rest holds more Bitcoins. So we can see that the retail investors, they were selling, the big wheels they bought, and now we can see a small increase of the retail investors again. They are finding their courage again to buy back into the Bitcoin dips. And that is why we can see the small increase at the end they are starting to buy. Now, if we zoom out completely, guys, then bam, always look at this one. Very important because this one shows you exactly what you're feeling at the moment and what they are telling you at the moment. They are telling you at the moment Bitcoin is dead. They told me that over there in 2014. They told me that over there in 2019. And they are telling me and you now again that Bitcoin is dead here in 2022. Now, on the tops, they told you it was a bubble, a bubble, and again, it was a bubble, and again, it will be another bubble. Let's see, 240,000, maybe even higher. We don't know, but Bitcoin is not dead. Bitcoin is in the period that you should be accumulating. This is the accumulating phase. In the accumulating phase, you bam, accumulate Bitcoins. You live in Thailand on a cheap, 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 happy long time way, uh, and you make uh, time to buy Bitcoins back because you don't spend too much every month. And that is what I'm doing. We just arrived in Thailand uh, two days ago. Still a little bit in the time difference. We have a beautiful house with a beautiful pool over there um, near the beach uh, in Phuket at the moment and uh, I will make a lot of cool videos here in Thailand but this one is a short one because I need to check how long the uploading takes. That was everything for today guys I hope you really enjoyed the video um, if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about Thailand uh, do you have any suggestions for me to visit in Thailand and also guys do remember if you want to claim bonuses use the links down below the video and sign up to Bybit because that exchange is full transparency and they don't have the shit going on that FTX had going on and all those scammers. Now, thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.